How's it going, everyone? It's Daikensan here, bringing you another Melty Blood Type Luna video. And today, we're going to be talking about everything Edmund Dantes. As all my character gods, I'll be breaking down his normals, his specials, his supers, his moon skills, and giving you a few combos and setups to get you guys started. By the way, just out of curiosity, what do you guys settled on calling him? Do you guys call him the Count? Do you guys call him the Monte Cristo? Or do you call him Edmund Dantes? Let me know down in the comments below what do you call this character. Beginning with Edmund Normal, starting with his A normals, his 5A is going to be nothing special, just a standard jab. He's going to be able to cancel himself in three times. Much like his 2A is also just going to be a standard low poke that's going to be able to cancel itself three times you know after that it starts going into the auto combo part and his 5b is going to be this move and swipe attack this is not going to be your biggest normal but it's going to be one of the main normals you're definitely going to be using in neutral versus this character his 2b is going to be this low swipe this is also going to be a low attack it has pretty long total duration for like this type of normal so just keep that in mind uh you do not want to be whiffing this tool but it is a decent poke as well 5c is going to be pretty unique in the fact that it's a two hitting normal so he does his first hit that is like sort of a swipe and he comes down with his other part that hits now the second part is going to be very crucial in some combos because it actually makes it to where they actually come back down so just showcasing a jumping opponent here the first hit hits and the second part actually knocks them back down as you can see this is going to be very crucial for certain things and certain combos definitely to where you want to get them back down to the ground or closer to the ground as possible so you can actually follow up with the next thing that you want to do so edmund's 5c is going to have long total duration so you definitely don't want to be whipping this move inside of neutral this move is going to be very good inside of combos and block strings however so if you're going to be using a neutral it definitely takes careful consideration edmund's 2c is going to be this fairly long double hitting sweet move now this move does have some pretty long startup so you definitely want to make sure you're spacing this tool out when you're actually using it in the neutral edmund's last grab and normal will be his 4c which is going to be this double hitting swipe it actually moves them backwards but vortex the opponent in as you can see the first hit of this actually can special cancel into his actual air specials as you see so you get access to your air specials from this and the second hit is going to be at a special cancel into his ground one so just keep that in mind the uh, second hit is going to be ground special cancelable and the first hit is going to be air special cancelable this is going to come up into many important things we're going to talk about much later so as you may notice with Edmund's crouching ground and normals is that they don't really hit very high up so they're very susceptible to actually getting air dashed on so the main button you're going to actually press when air dashes are coming are going to be 5b or 5a in those cases however keep in mind 5a doesn't hit people who are air dashing very high up so 5b will be the standard go-to for people who are doing air dashes this will probably be your best button to try to go for in most cases talk about edmund's air normal says ja is going to be your standard air to air attack so you're definitely going to be using this when you see your opponent in the air when you think they're going to be air just like a lot of other ja's just can you know if you do this rising you can come down with another button so this is never a bad idea to check with this try to fish for like a fatal counter and come down with a better button to hit the opponent if they're on the ground edmund's jb is probably going to be his best air to ground attack believe it or not as far as his speed and how deep it actually can reach inside the opponent now, Edmund's JC is going to be his biggest yet slowest button. Now, of course, this button is going to be pretty good for jumping in as well. But it also has some pretty good merit to actually for jumping back to create some safety. Edmund also has a charge JC, which is going to have slightly more range than his actual normal JC. So, like, from right here, the regular JC will whiff. But if I go back again, this one will hit. So, it has slightly more range and it has the ground bounce effect that you actually see right there. So, it's going to be used in a lot of combos and stuff. You'll definitely see that we talk about a little bit later. But for the most part it is going to be something that you will probably use in very specific block strings or when you need the little bit of extra range in certain setups now talking about edmund's special moves starting off with the god button his 236 series mainly his 236a so 236a is going to be a very good button that has two follow-ups so first you got this first hit right here which is a 236a this is just sort of like a little mini projectile and the first follow-up is going to be 236aa this is going to cause a crumple on the hit and this is also going to lead to something that we're going to talk about in just a second the second one is going to be this low attack right here. So this is actually going to be a low and both of them are going to be safe. The follow-ups are going to be both safe at minus four. So if you do a follow-up and you commit to it, you don't really have to worry about getting punished by a button. A person really has to commit or have a really long poke or something to really challenge this. They're going to either have to like run in afterwards or they just going to have something that moves very far away. Like say something like this from Edmund. So they have to really call it out of you backdashing or whatever you try to move to do afterwards because it's only minus four so you can know you can actually try to move and stuff afterwards now the crazy thing about 236 aa is this thing actually allows you to pick up for a combo as you can see so you can actually get a combo off of this tool on top of if the first hit of this hits a person in the air this part practically becomes unblockable so as you can see the first hit of this is like a projectile because the opponent is actually able to block this in the air but if we go into the aa notice that they are not able to block that because that part 
is air unblockable so you basically get a free air unblockable of this and based on some other supers that we'll talk about later you get easy confirms into some damage off of something like this so it's very safe just to throw out because it's minus four if it hits you basically just get some free combo because air unblockable this move does a lot for you Edmunds 236 ab will also allow him to pick up for combo so this move is not that bad either this move is just mainly used in certain combos off of certain starters now Edmunds 236b is going to be this double laser right here so he does have some decent full screen projectiles but if a person tries to get over them, you can actually anti-air them or air unblockable them, them from this as well. So if the opponent starts to air dash at you while you're actually doing this, and because it actually locks them up in the air, you can visually confirm it to one of your supers and actually confirm it for a full combo. Dante's 623 series is going to be his DP. Now, the A version is not going to have Envil, but it's going to be, be able to use in combos because you can actually jump cancel it. And the B version is simply just going to be your standard Envil version. Now, like most characters that have DPs, it's also going to be air unblockable. So he is blocking the air. However, he cannot block this DP. One thing to keep in mind, though, is the way his DP is, it's not going to be the best as far as like hitting behind the opponent or anything like that. So if you overshoot this, you will actually pay the price for this. So keep this in mind. His DP does go pretty nice forward. So you might want to use it a little bit more in advance before you actually get closer to the opponent if you're going to be trying to utilize this technique. Now, talking about Edmund's 214 series, starting with his 214A, which is going to be his Rekka. So the first hit is record is just going to be the swipe as you can see and the second hit is going to be this other swipe that has like this double hit effect next thing is going to actually be the part where you can actually choose what you want to do next so this is where you can go into overhead from 4a command grab into 6a or the final hit going into the low with just the next hit of a when you're doing the record you can actually put some decent delays in between each hit itself However, these aren't going to be something you're going to be trying to steal your turn back with because of how negative they are. The first one being minus 8, the second one being minus 10, and the last one being like minus 11. However, on the last one, you can actually go into this super right here, which we're going to talk about a little later, because this super is actually plus. So even after you go into these options, you actually still have something you can do. And yes, you can combo off the command grab by going into supers as well. So this can actually be combo off as well, and that's how you do it like mid-screen. And you can go into this super in the corner and confirm all of that. So yes, he has multiple ways he can combo from the command grab as well. And of course, it should definitely go without saying that the overhead can actually be comboed as well. If the command grab is doing it, then you know the overhead will definitely be doing it. 2 and 4B is going to be this advancing slash attack. This move is going to be pretty safe at minus 5. However, when it actually hits the opponent, it actually causes a ground bounce. Because it actually causes a ground bounce, this move is great for combo filler or just simply as the starter of the combo itself. A very important tool for Edmund is going to be his J214 series. So you can see he does this punch and he sort of goes backwards. So there's like sort of this after image of him. And when he hits with it, he's going to be that second after image of going backwards. In the B version, he's going to be the one that actually goes forward. And both of these versions can actually be jump canceled, as you can see. So you can follow up after them uh, with a jump. You can't air that. It's just you actually have access to a jump. So with the B version, when you're doing this in pressure, you can actually just jump cancel and actually try to go for some more pressure now keep in mind if you do this in a block screen from the 4c it actually can be actually matched out but the person does have to pretty much stand because no low normals will just lose to this so they actually have to be aware that you're actually trying to go in this but you can be punished for doing this tool so just keep that in mind that this can be punished but yeah this is not a bad tool to reset pressure with because it keeps your opponents on their toes and allows them to have something else out to look for this tool is also very prominent in a lot of his combos in the form of the tk version so you definitely need to have this down being able to do this low to the ground as possible like this in the middle of his combos so he can actually get the damage possible and the last special moves for edmund will be his j236 series which is going to be these lasers so the a version is going to be a single laser and the B version is going to be a double laser. So you can try to harass the neutral game with these angled lasers right here. Similar to this one right here. However, this won't allow you to get like a full combo. But you can try to confirm this into his J236C super. Uh, and that will give you the hard knockdown. Now, one good thing that these things can do, or at least the B version, is once again another check. So if you go into pressure and you press the 4C into this, the B version, this is actually going to be plus for you. So this is going to be a plus 3 situation. So taking... You know taking these plus frames right here or if you're doing it in like quick pressure like something like that and then doing a tk version of it these will give you plus three frames once again while they're both good tools you don't want to overuse them because they both actually lose to an opponent just doing the down shield so down shield would definitely beat both of these options 
so you definitely don't want to overuse them but once you start getting the reactions from your opponent that you're looking for you can start trying to sneak these options in to try to get some plus frames or reset pressure situations pokemon edmund's moon skill his 6bc is going to be a faster version of his b lasers you can also still confirm this into the actual laser super to actually get a hard knockdown if you're close enough you can actually follow up for this super right here this super will allow you to actually pick up for a little bit more damage um simply just because you actually could do a, a manual combo his 3bc is going to be his dp moon skill which is going to be able to be jump cancel on with block or hit so this is going to allow him to get combos off of it similar to like the a version only when that one connects though his 4bc is simply just going to be a faster version of his 214b but comes with the added benefit of just having an extra hit before it actually does the bounce Edmund's J6B is going to be the EX lasers. The added benefit for this is the fact that it actually can be jump canceled and you still have access to your jump cancel and air dash. So you still have other options you can utilize once you actually hit with this tool. And sometimes you can pick it up for an actual combo. Edmund's Air 6B is going to be his moon skills laser. The added benefit to this is going to be that you actually still have access to your jump and your air dash. So this is going to be a less committal version of his previous option, which is his 236B in the air. And the last move skill for Edmund is going to be his jump 4B, which is going to actually still retain his jump cancel and his air dash, unlike the other version where you still just have access to just his jump. So you don't have access to the air dash off of these, but off this one, you still have access to that air dash as well. So if you decide to sneak this in because you still have access to your air dash, you could go for double overhead mix-ups. Keep in mind, you do not retain the air dash when you actually do this from his 4C. So they actually do have a restriction on that to where you just don't have that option. And finally, talking about Edmund's Super. So it's 236C. Is this going to be that laser that we were talking about? So this is going to be the tool you're going to be using to confirm your full screen lasers into a hard knockdown. So that's going to be the main uses of this tool. The same could be said for his air laser as well. This is going to be what you're going to be mainly confirming into a hard knockdown from these straight hits from your other lasers. Edmund 236C can also be used as a combo extender in the corner. So this could be something you can definitely use inside your combos to actually go a little bit further. Edmund's EXDP is going to be as fast as reversal at five frames with the B version actually coming out at eight frames. So if you need a faster reversal at five frames, this will be the move to go to and actually cause a hard knockdown. So you can use it in certain combo enders to actually get a hard knockdown at the end of certain combos as well. Edmund's 214C main purpose is going to be basically combo filler because it actually gives you a launcher to extend combos. But keep in mind, this tool is also could be used for an extension of certain tools or can be used for that error blockable situation that we were talking about before. Edmund's 22C is going to be an EX exclusive and it's going to be a plus super for him that he can just throw out whenever he needs some plus frames. You can pressure your opponent with a record trying to look for a mash and then if it don't happen, you can sort of just get the plus frames to continue your pressure from there. Edmund's J214C is going to be one of his primary enders for when he wants to spin meter. It's going to leave the opponent right close to him so he can actually start his Oki situation. And last but not least is going to be Edmund's Arc Drive. This is actually going to be a command grab super. This super is very good at dealing with projectiles as it goes almost full screen to command grab the opponent being involved for like 25 frames. This super also has the benefit of being zero after flash, meaning if you weren't jumping before the flash happened, you're not getting out of it. So if Edmund runs at me right now and I hold down back, in the moment the flash happened, I hold up like I'm holding up, holding up. Too late, I already got hit. So it is five frame startup. However, the moment you start to see the flash, it is already too late. So this super is very, very different than some other ones we encountered in the game because this one cannot be shielded because it's a command grab. And once you see it, it is already too late. So because it's property alone, this is one of the few supers in the game you can tick throw your opponent with and actually potentially get some good damage, potentially closing out the round. And now that we finally went over all of Edmund's main tools, it's time to give you guys a few combos and setups to get you guys started.
And that's pretty much it for Edmund. I don't know why I said setups in that part. Edmund's not really a setup character. I mean, you can do like triple overheads and stuff like that. Something like that. Or if you want to go for this into like, you know, this or this into fake like you're doing that into that. Or this, you know, fake like you're going into that into like a low. Like that, that's pretty much the extent of like him doing like setups or the command grab setups we were talking about. You can do like a tick throw or something. He's not really a setup based character. So don't know why I said that, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys found this guide useful. As always, if you like anything I had to say here, drop me a like, girl, appreciate it. And if you want more from me, follow me on my socials. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications so you know the next video goes live. As always, my name is Daikin, and I'll see you next time. Signing out.